Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Ferrum Wrestling 411. With me today is head wrestling coach Nate Yetzer and a 133 pound sophomore Justin Zimmerman. Welcome to the show fellas. Thanks Gary, appreciate it. Nice Did you guys have a great holiday? It was nice. Yeah, I went home for a few days. It was really great. Did you get to eat a lot? Not as much as I'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> Nate and I remember those days of uh, going home and wanting to eat a little bit more than we uh, Actually, really I should. don't. I never really cut weight that much in college. So. <laughs> I did it my junior year, but not my senior yeah. year. And it was, uh, it was not fun um, cutting that weight and everything. So, Justin, you're wrestling 133 this year. How's the season going so far for you? Um, it's pretty good so far. Um, I missed our first tournament. Um, I forget why. And uh, but I think everything everything's going pretty good. Um, figuring it out. Okay, you're um, you uh, we're coming off right now a, <coughs> uh, a dual meet over uh, win over McDaniel. You guys beat McDaniel up at the Battlefield Duels. Talk a little bit about coach about that whole event. It was a high school tournament, and you guys were a featured college match there. Right, right. Uh, <clears throat> I talked to Coach Swink. Um, I don't know, probably five or six months ago to try to get something set up to where. I wanted to do one home match. It was supposed to be a, supposed to be a home match. Right. I wanted to do one throughout the state of Virginia somewhere, or even up in Maryland. Mm -hmm. um, and it just kind of uh, you know, during high, during a high school event, just to kind of uh, for helps with recruiting for us and McDaniel. You know what I mean? Sure. And, and, sure. Uh, and this is Bill Swink at Colonial Forge. Colonial Forge. Okay. Yep. Yep. And uh, that was that was a perfect event, perfect time of year where we needed something to do to, uh, for a, needed a match, um, just one match, to kind of get back in the swing of things after Christmas break, and it was it was, it was, a, it was a great event. And, they they're really organized. They do an awesome job. So it was yeah. it was cool to wrestle in front of a lot of our you know a lot of our kids are from that area. Mm -hmm. So I think it was really cool to wrestle in front of them. So fairly good sized crowd there. Oh yeah, I mean the place is packed. Really, I mean, you got you got I don't know eight, nine, ten different teams throughout the area throughout the area of Maryland, mm -hmm. Virginia, um, that uh, you know that are good great programs that travel well. So it was it was, it was pretty full. So it was great. Probably a nice uh, in-between point for the two schools. We had to go a couple hours to the east. Uh, Daniel had to come a couple More hours. More than a couple hours. This is, this is pretty far. It's, I was surprised how far it is. Yeah. That was a long ride. It's four and a half hour. hours. Four and a half hours, yeah. really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. So. Okay. Well, I've been up there before the uh, the regionals, uh, the, the, um, the south regionals for mm -hmm. 6A last year. We're at that we're at that school and everything. So, um, so good dual meet for you guys overall? Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, going in, you know, I don't know if we were – I would say they were probably favored a little bit, but uh, but our guys responded well. You know, um, Russell really good. We were out two, we were without two of our starters, but so were they. They were out two, without two starters as well. Okay. So, um, but I, I think it. Uh, I think we wrestled really well. It is, it, team wise, it was the best we've wrestled all year mm -hmm. as a team. So. Well, I noticed it was it was hotly contested. I counted seven different lead changes in the first eight weight classes. Yeah. There were two pins, one for each team. There was um, a couple of uh, major decisions for us. Um, I think we also had a tech fall. Yep. So, uh, Justin, you had one of the major decisions. So you put us on top, gave us that first lead, um, lead swing and everything. We lost the first one. You came back. Um, how did that match go for you against uh, Ben Montagna? Um, it was pretty good. Um, I think I started off a little bit slow. Um, wasn't really able to get some turns on top like I'd like. But um, you just have to do what you got to do to get bonus points for the team. Mm -hmm. So your win was a 10-2 decision. Was that what the, um, you got the riding time point as yes. well? Okay. It's good. Man. It's a good win. He's a good kid. I mean, we recruited that kid and his brother last year. Okay. Um, I like that because they were scrappy. You know, I really like those kids going to high school. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, they, fortunately they're the enemy now. At 141, <laughs> we saw a rematch from the, um, the third place match at the regionals last year, where Logan Meister beat uh, um, Alvante Drummond to get into the NCAA tournament. This time, Drummond nipped Meister 3-2. Pretty, right. pretty hotly contested match. It was awesome. Great match. Uh, you know, uh, both those guys know each other pretty well. Meister had the leg a couple of times and, you know, didn't finish. You know, he was 0-2 on when he had the leg. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, he's got to capitalize on one of those. If he, he gets the takedown, you know, he probably wins the match. You know, or at least goes in overtime, and I like our chances in overtime. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, he got kind of he got kind of a little bit of sloppy, a little out of position um, in the first, I think, the first minute of the match. And the, and the guy doubled. The guy's an athlete. You know, it's another kid that we had. It was one of, one of our top recruits a couple of years ago, Avante mm -hmm. Drummond. Okay. And, uh I'm obviously with McDaniel, but um, you know I like who we got there. You know, as yeah, well, you, got so. good, you got a good replacement <laughs> yeah. there. So, um, talk about a couple other performances. Uh, Nick Rodriguez, 197, has been doing a good job for you. He came up with a tech fall over Nick uh, Nick Cross, 20 to five. Yep. Just total control of that match. Yeah, I don't think it was ever in doubt. You know, he did he did a great job of just controlling the tempo of the match, and, and he's doing a lot better job of staying in control and not putting himself in positions to that he's going to, uh, to get himself in trouble. You know, on, you know either on top or 
um, and letting the guy on his legs too easy. So mm-hmm. he's, he's, he's getting better every match. That's exactly what we want to see. Corbin Ramos came up with a pin for Ferrum at 184 pounds, pinned Jake Pontoon pretty quick, yep. a minute and 14. Yep. Uh, just catch him off, uh, right out of the, out of the gates. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, I mean, the, the, uh, he, he scored, I think he threw the guy by, scored a takedown, and then the uh, the kid tried to step over, and, uh, you know, Corbin just, you know, does what Corbin does, it's kind of funky, and mm-hmm. you know, I don't know what the heck he did, but he pinned, put him on his back <laughs> and pinned him, and, and he's on, he's on, that dude's on a, uh, he's on a tear right now, he's wrestling really well right now, so. Corbin? Yep. <clears throat> it's great to see. You had another uh, major decision, 165 pounds, uh, Dustin Santmeyers majored uh, Luke Yox, 10-2. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, One Sam- of the better kids, too, you know, and, and Dustin... And when Dustin's on, he can score some points. You know, mm-hmm. he's, technically, he's really good. You know, okay. and uh, you know, it just it's, you know, it keeps progressing. I think he's going to be uh, have a lot more success. He's doing a great job. A couple other guys had uh, picked up wins for you. Two eighty-five, uh, Tate Delaney picked up a, a decision, and at uh, one forty-nine, mm-hmm. Logan Smith picked up a decision for you. So both guys wrestle pretty well. Yeah, I, I think they both needed that those wins too. They were yeah. they were hurting a little bit. You know, and, the, and it, it kind of been in, you know, I don't want to say free fall, but haven't been doing having a lot of success, you know. They were, they were trying hard, just not having success. Yeah. I think they both turned the corner last weekend, so. Good, good. Um, okay, so let's talk about what's coming up here. You've got um, the Virginia Duels coming up this weekend, Friday and Saturday. You're mm-hmm. going out to the Hampton Coliseum. Last year you guys placed third in your first ever event. Talk a little bit about uh, how you feel um, your team's chances are at this year's tournament. I'll let, I'll let Justin handle that. Um, I think we're. I think we definitely have a shot to win it. Um, I don't see why we can't. Um, we, last year we got third, but no one was really expecting anything out of us. Mm-hmm. And then again this year we didn't get seated, so no, I guess no one's expecting anything out of us. But if everybody wrestles like they did last weekend, then I don't see why we can't win it. Were you surprised to see that you didn't get seated after having placed third in this tournament last year? Uh, yes and no. I mean, not not really. I mean, I don't pay too too much attention to that. Anyways, I mean. You get to beat some really good teams, anyway. It's only eight man bracket, so mm-hmm. I mean. Um, and they seed the top four, and then they just scramble, yeah, exactly. scramble so, the last four. Yeah, exactly. So. Okay. Okay. But so. you know, it, it is what it, I mean. I like where we sit. You know, I like who we have. And Anderson University out of South Carolina is your first yep. round match. Don't know much about them. You know, I did a little research on them. They, we saw them at Pembroke Classic. Um, you know, they're 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 solid. You know, so we just got to wrestle okay. well. So. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to seeing the results. Um, we'll, be, we'll be posting stuff on our website, but it'll also be on VirginiaDuels.com. If yep. Folks want to go see that as well. Um, last year's match, a little bit of a little recap, two criteria wins over Liberty University. I'm not sure how many times I've seen criteria wins each yeah. year. It might be a half dozen a year throughout the nation, and Farum had two over the same school. I mean, how, how unique was something yeah. like that? It just shows you how close that we are with Liberty. and. Yeah. Um, I'm sure. I mean, hopefully, we'll be Anderson and, and move on. And, and uh, Liberty, if they win theirs, then we'll have each other in the semis. Liberty's the on two Saturday seven. morning. Okay. Okay. And uh, you know, they they're. Um, I mean, it's gonna be another close one. I guarantee okay. you that. <clears throat> Pembroke, uh, UNC Pembroke, D2 program, ranked in the top 15. I think they're ranked number 13 right now in the nation. They're the number one seed. You guys met them last year in the semifinals, lost by about maybe 18, 20 points. Yeah, we got. A couple weeks later, yeah, you wrestled yeah. them at home and lost by what 11 points or yeah, something. So. Yeah. You feel pretty good about going against them this year? Yeah, I do. I do. Them? I mean, I, I don't want <clears throat> can't get ahead of ourselves. We got you know we got we got a couple of teams, good, great great teams, got to beat first to get there. Uh, but I, I probably I, I probably would expect them to be in the finals. You know, I mean they're they're you know, well coached. You know, the team hustles. You know, mm-hmm. does a really good job. But this year, I think <clears throat> maybe a little bit down. You know, lost a few guys to graduation and. Um, so this is just our chance to catch him. So I saw the coach in the bleachers. He was down at a tournament in North Carolina that my son was wrestling in, and I saw him up there and everything. I know that he's uh, pretty excited about about the duels this year. <clears throat> yeah. So nice little rivalry, rivalry starting to bud between I think our programs. So. That's great. Okay, in a couple of weeks we go out to uh, Illinois Wheaton Invitational, Pete uh, Pete Wilson Invitational. Yep. Tough tournament with Midwest. Um, last year you guys went out there, didn't fare as well as you'd liked. Um, yeah. How do you feel like, uh, going out this year? I feel pretty good, you know. I mean, it depends if we're ready to go or not. And, you know, I think last year was an eye-open experience for him a little bit. You know, I mean, you know, I think, I think total we won seven or matches total as a team, ten guys. But this year, I, I you know, I expect, I'm hoping, expecting four or five placers would be nice, you know. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I definitely think we have the talent to do it. You know, our guys just can't go out there. Um, it's just different wrestling up there. You know, it's like hand fighting. The guys right. will come after you. They're not skilled. You know, I you know, and I didn't go out last year. My wife was really pregnant, but Coach Bradley said, you know, skill-wise, we're the best team out there. But 
you know, uh, fight wise, and yeah. you know, that's where we really struggle. So I think we've remedied some of that this summer, this year, mm-hmm. and I think uh, going in, it shouldn't be a shock to them. You know, sure. mentally, it won't be a shock to them for sure. sure. So well, we're looking forward to seeing how, how well you guys do out there, Justin. Um, you want to say anything to uh, any family members, coaches, or anything like that at home? Um, nope. Just uh, I guess I hate my dad, my brother. Okay. With a couple of your biggest fans right there, right? Yeah, biggest supporters. I right know there. your dad seems to always be at the matches, and your brother is a high school wrestler now. Yes, one twenty pounder for Monticello High School. Monticello High School. How's his season going so far? Um, so far, it's pretty good. I think he's only maybe lost once so really? far. So okay, he's in the same weight class as my son is as well this year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nate, there's a, there's a possibility that Farrah may be hosting the East Regional this year. Um, talk a little bit about how, how how much of a thing that would be for us if we could get something like that. I think it'd be huge, you know. And, to have all of our, all of our own, our own team guys that are not wrestling be there and uh, to really cheer on our guys, and I think that's important. You know, I think looking around some of the best programs in the country, um, they have a huge following. You know, even the nationals, which were in Iowa. Right. You know, and I think that's that's what we need. I mean, we we gotta have we gotta start building that fan base, and uh, you know, once we find out if, if it's a guaranteed thing, we're gonna be sending out emails and seeing if guys want to buy packages where they can get a uh, T-shirt. Um, and then uh, you know it's an all day pass to right. the um, event, right. and then we'll have a social that evening. So right. I think it's uh, it'd be a great event, and you know I'm hoping to get as many recruits there as possible too to watch us. And cause I do think this is uh, you know well well a pretty great great regional tournament. So the Roanoke Civic Center is a beautiful awesome. facility. That's yeah. what we've p- proposed for this and everything. Awesome. It's, it's called the Berglund Center now. Yeah, yep. and uh, walk down you can walk downtown get something to eat. Oh, the yeah. hotels are right there. And, yep. It's gonna be awesome. So. Yeah, I was. Not, I noticed when we put the bid in the hotels, the airport, everything's yeah. right there. Yeah. Um, and within like eight miles of the facility, yeah. nobody's gonna have to go very far. So it, it generally, it starts getting warm that time of year too. It's warmer, you know what I mean. So it's you know, sure. it, it won't be as cold. The morning was, the morning or Cedar Rapids, wherever we were last year, was got kind of cold. Pretty chilly. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty pretty cold out there on this morning. I it's, left my this house morning, at five yeah. this morning. So yeah, yeah. But end of February usually gets a little bit warmer. So I'm sure some of those guys up at, uh, up in New York and and. and uh, New York City and stuff will we'll, we'll enjoy it. So. Yeah, sure. They'll, they'll enjoy a little bit of warmth. So, Well, listen, I really appreciate you guys coming on the show this morning. Good luck out uh, at the Virginia Duels, and mm-hmm. we'll get you guys coming back on at some point here, probably in uh, late January or beginning of February. Awesome. Thanks, Gary. I appreciate it. Great. Thank you very much. Folks, thanks for being with us this morning. We'll be back um, in about a week with another episode of Ferrum Wrestling 411. Thanks for being with us today.